Welcome to Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters. At Capital Blue Cross, we encourage high academic achievement because healthy minds help contribute to a prosperous community. As the region's leading health insurer, we are proud to celebrate the accomplishments of the Susquehanna Valley's leading schools and top students. Thanks for tuning in for the show, and good luck, teams. From the studio of WGAL8, teams of the best and brightest students from Susquehanna Valley High Schools go head to head in a battle of wits. It's Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters. Now, here's your host, Rich Rosen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our show. How exciting it is to be here today. We are welcoming back our 16 highest scoring winning teams from round one. We're beginning our 16 team single elimination tournament. Seeding has been determined by each team's performance during round one. So today it's a top seeded team, Cumberland Valley versus team seeded number 16, Camp Hill. So let's put them to work right now with today's opening round. 10 point questions, one big brain buster thanks to our friends at Pizza Hut. Good luck to all eight of you. It's as hard as plastic and as clear as glass. It's fossilized tree sap. What is it, Michael? Amber. Amber is correct for 10 points. It's the first book in Philip Pullman's trilogy, His Dark Mirror Materials. John. The Golden Compass. The Golden Compass. Of course, it was a movie starring Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig. A defective O-ring on the booster rockets caused it. Seven died as a result. Aaron. The Challenger. Explosion. The Challenger was the space vehicle that exploded on January 28th, 1986. It's the part of a cell that contains the genes which determine the Hamish. Nucleus. No, sorry. To, to determine the, and that's Brad. Uh, the nucleolus. No, sorry. I'm going to complete the question. Determine the inherited characteristics of the organism and the cellular bodies, of course, are the chromosomes. So anticipation did not work in either favor in that case. You may recognize poetic lines, but do you remember who wrote them? Such as these lines. It is an ancient mariner, and he stoppeth one of three. Brad. Samuel Coleridge. He's the one for the rhyme of the ancient mariner. According to legend, it was Paul Bunyan's bovine companion. It's also Farmer Hoggett's Adam. Babe. Babe, uh, Farmer Hoggett's porcine companion who learns to be a sheep pig, and Babe is correct. It was the name given to Germany, Italy, and Japan during World War II. Aaron. The Axis. The Axis is the four letter word that we were going for. According to Greek mythology, after Perseus killed Medusa, this creature sprang up from her blood. What was this winged horse? Brad. Pegasus. Pegasus was this winged horse. Well done, yes. Florida, Alaska, West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Texas all have them. What is this protruding, A Aaron? A panhandle. A panhandle is this protruding geographic feature. And now it's time for the Big Brain Buster, brought to you by Pizza Hut. Make it a big night in and order the big night in deal from Pizza Hut. So good luck to all eight of you. From the Greek words for without a ruler, this political party is based on the idea that governments are unnecessary or bad. Aaron. Anarchist. Anarchist or anarchy is the state of disorder. Well done. Congratulations, Camp Hill. Florida, Alaska, I'm sorry I went through that. It's not every day that a boy captures a wild animal and takes it home to his grandfather, but it happens in this Russian folktale. What is this composition by Sergei Prokofiev? Brad. Peter and the Wolf. Peter and the Wolf is correct. In 1987, a Japanese buyer paid more than $5 million for an Old Testament. Michael. Pass. Okay. Continuing for Camp Hill. For an Old Testament printed by this German. Who was this 15th century printer? Aaron. Luther. No, sorry, that's incorrect. It was Gutenberg. It's the rise and fall of a liquid through a tube with a very small diameter. It's what causes water to rise in plants. What kind of action is it, Michael? Capillary. Capillary action is correct. I saw the dull yellow eye of the creature open. A convulsive motion agitated its limbs. I rushed out of the room. Who was this creator in Mary Shelley's novel? Nick. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is correct. The most important and popular musical instrument of the 17th and 18th centuries. It looks like a grand piano, but has strings. Michael. Harpsichord. Harpsichord is correct. Like baseball, this sport has innings, runs, outs, and bats. What is this popular, Michael? Cricket. Cricket is this popular English pastime. She made her first run for parliament at age 24, lost and loved it. Who was this future prime minister of Great Britain? Michael. Thatcher. Thatcher is correct. Right on the buzzer. Well done. Seven to 80, a great game going. Well, we're going to see what happens when Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters continues right after this short break. Hello, my name is Jacob Hansen, and I'm a junior at Cumberland Valley High School. It's great to be here today. As one of the largest schools in South Central Pennsylvania, Cumberland Valley High School has a rich history of academic excellence and achievement. 
We strive to see that all students reach their fullest potential and work to achieve these goals through offerings that include a rigorous academic environment. Good luck, teams. Hello, welcome back. Rainbusters continues now, and as always, we so appreciate you staying with us. You know, the four people that we've met from each team so far is only a small part of the team. There are some other very important people worth meeting, so let's go over to Cumberland Valley and, and say hello to the team's alternate, Rashab Iyer, and you're a sophomore, and it's great to have you here, and actually the first time that you're here. And I understand that you started a linguistics Olympiad? Yes. At Cumberland Valley, what is an, a linguistics Olympiad? Um, basically, you'll have a test. Um, this year it was six problems, and they'll be of languages you've likely never heard of before. And you, using what the information you're given, you should figure out um, how the language works and be able to tell certain things about the language as the answer to the problem. How many languages do you speak, Rochelle? Oh, English. Just English. <laughs> oh, okay. And next to you is a very important lady. That's Mrs. Donna Benson. And you are the teacher of special interest or the teacher of the t uh, gifted and talented. Now, you know that we know that it takes um, you know, a lot of intelligence and good basic knowledge to be on the show and certainly quick recall to be in Quiz Bowl. But do you have to be gifted? No, you don't have to be gifted, but a lot of these students are. You have to be a good risk taker and you have to be, have quick recall. But obviously being a good student and a good reader helps. Absolutely. Certainly. All right, well, thanks for being here, Mrs. Benson, Rashab. Now let's head over to Camp Hill and we're going to say hello to Ariel Islam. And you're a junior and it's great to have you here. And you're the team's alternate. And uh, you're interested in the in politics? Are you still interested in politics? Uh, yes, I am. Has, has Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama inspired you at all, perhaps? To yeah. see that anybody, uh, perhaps? Uh, yeah, the election was very exciting this year. All right, well, nice to have you here. And next to you is Mr. Andrew Gianelli. And, and, and you teach history at Camp Hill, and it's great to have you here, Mr. Gianelli. And, and I know that we all share this, um, the desire here to put the spotlight on Quiz Bowl, especially, you know, when always battling the glamour of athletics. Well, how in a school district like Camp Hill that's so small are you able to attract such talent and motivation when there's such a demand for them? Well, teaching ninth grade helps, especially when you use Quiz Bowl as a uh, study technique for tests. Ah, so you have a buzzer system in this, and then they play with that. Excellent. Good, good uh, idea. Thank you very much, Mr. Gianelli, for being here. Now let's put our students back to work with today's one-on-one -on -one rapid fire. Adam Shaw, you're a senior over at Cumberland Valley, and it's great to have you here. And you have, like many people, and certainly many of our viewers I know, a, a strong interest in classic films. Uh, uh, yes. Um, the American Film Institute recently came out with their movie a list of the top 100 films of all time. I'm trying to watch all 100. And, uh, and any recently that you've seen that you can say that you're very fond of? Or? Uh, I really like The Graduate. Yeah, that's quite good. Your parents know I, that you were seeing that. Oh, yeah. At one time, I wasn't even allowed to see that, so I know that film quite well with Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> and now, uh, when it first came out, it uh, makes me laugh. Brad Seltzer, you're a sophomore over at uh, Camp Hill, and it's great to have you here. And, man, you're doing really well, uh, especially among some of your uh, elder uh, peers. And uh, you have an interest in veterinary science. Do you still, uh, does that continue? And, uh, yeah, um, I've taken a few classes over the years, uh, just basic stuff, but I kind of want to do it for preparatory for later. Do you have any animals at home? Yeah. Um, right now I have two dogs and two cats, but I used to have like nine pets. Oh, excellent. All right. Yeah. Brad and Adam, we're going to put you two one-on-one -on -one and see what happens. It was a wool sash about 20 feet in length wrapped around the body and generally worn over a tunic. What was this distinctive garment of ancient Rome? Adam. Toga. A toga is correct for 10 points. It is the longest and strongest bone in your body. What is the... Brad. The femur. The femur is also known as the thigh bone, yes. Walt Disney took the story of Snow White from a collection of more than 200 folk Folk tales published in 1815 by these brothers. Brad. The Brothers Grimm. The Brothers Grimm, Jacob and Wilhelm. Well done. 